Hello, first graders. I have some review of double digit subtraction for you. If you see a problem like this, it says 47 minus 21. The first thing that I usually do is stack the numbers vertically, put them on, on top of each other. 47 minus 21. And then I can take each side at, at one time. 7 minus 1. I can count backwards from 7. 7, 6. And 4 minus 2. I can count backwards from 4 two times. 4, 3, 2. Forty-seven minus twenty-one is twenty-six. Now, if you have trouble counting backwards, another strategy to use is to write out your tens and ones and then cross them out. Forty-seven is four tens and seven ones. four tens and seven ones. We want to take away two tens and one one. Let's take away the one first. Let's take away the tens next. How many do we have left? We have one, two tens, Two, go away. And we have one, two, three, go away. Try again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six ones. Twenty six. It's the same answer. Forty seven minus twenty one equals twenty six. Let's try another one. Here we have 63 minus 52. I can stack them on top of each other and count backwards. Let's start with the one side. Three, take away two. Three, two, one. There's one one left. Now let's do the, now let's do the 10 side. It's six, take away five. So I have six and I want to take away five. Six, five, four, three, two, one. The answer is 11. If I have trouble counting backwards, I can, I can draw out my tens and ones and cross them out. 63 is six tens and three ones. And we want to take away 52. We're going to take away five tens and two ones. One, two, three, four, five, five tens and one, two ones. What do we have left? We have one ten left and one one left. That's 11. 63 minus 52 equals 11. And that's your review for double digit subtraction. Good luck on your work and I'll see you soon. Bye.